I'd like to begin with a welcome and thank everyone for being here. On behalf of the bride and the groom and their respective families, we appreciate you joining us for this festive occasion. We're gathered here to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, that is to give recognition and worth to the beauty of committed marital love, and for myself and all of you to add our best wishes to the words that will unite these two fine young people here today. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You may be seated. That's okay. Why don't you guys step right here? Josh and Nicole, the commitment that the two of you were about to make is the most important commitment that two people can make because you're about to create something new. That is the entity of marriage. It's also an entity that never ends. So I always begin by asking folks, if you come here freely and without reservations to begin your life in matrimony together here today? Yes. I, I, was, <laughs> I was pretty sure of that. Yeah. <laughs> but, in all yeah. <laughs> but in all sincerity, I would ask you both to treat yourself and each other with the dignity and respect that you both deserve. And remember how happy this moment really is, okay? I would also ask you both to give the highest priority to the tenderness, the gentleness, and the kindness that your marriage deserves. And remember often what seems right between you. That way, when frustration and difficulty may assail your relationship from time to time, as it does in every marriage, by remembering what seems right, then perhaps what's temporarily wrong at the moment may not seem so important. So just try to remember when the clouds temporarily hide the sun, the sunshine is in fact still there. And if you each individually take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be filled with much, much happiness, okay? End of my lecture. <clears throat> <laughs> A couple questions, starting with you, sir. Will you have this beautiful lady to be your lawfully wedded wife? Of course. Yes. Will you love and comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, keeping yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? Yes. He did good. Your turn. <laughs> Will you have this gentleman to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yeah. Will you love and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, keeping yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? Yeah. Since it is your intention to be joined in matrimony, if you face one another and join hands and declare your consent to be wed by repeating after me, first you, Josh, to Nicole, I take you, I take you. to be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. If you'd please take this ring and place it on Nicole's left hand. And please repeat after me, Josh, to her. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my commitment. As a sign of my commitment. My love. My love. And my fidelity to you. And my fidelity to you. Very nice. Very nice. Your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, if you repeat, <laughs> please repeat after me to Josh. <laughs> I take you, I take you to be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Please take this ring. Repeat after me. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my commitment. As a sign of my commitment. My love. My love. My fidelity to you. My fidelity to you. And so much as you do. 
pretty good, I think. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, you express that commitment to one another by exchanging these vows, the giving of these rings in front of all of these witnesses, and by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you kiss your bride, sir. Webster's Dictionary defines a wedding as the fusing of two metals using a hot torch. Well, you know something? You guys are metals. Go. They're perfect for each other in every way possible. They feed off each other. When one fails or falters, the other is always there to pick them right back up. I cannot imagine a world where they don't have each other. These two people exemplify the term soulmate to the highest extent, in my opinion. I'm so proud to call them my friends, and even more, I am honored to be a part of this wedding. Paul and Josh have been together for uh, over 11 years, and they are an amazing couple. They have grown up together and have faced some hardships along the way, but their love has always stayed strong. They truly are soulmates, and I feel so fortunate to be able to be a part of their special day. I love you both so much, and I can't wait to see what your future holds. Now let's raise our glasses and congratulate the newlyweds, Nicole and Josh Buster. You found someone that loves you, that cares for you, that watches out for you, that will be your partner for the rest of your life. That person is Nicole. You know, as a, as a parent, you always hope that your child would find someone that would love and appreciate him or her and become a partner for the rest of your life. Thank you for being a blessing in Josh's life. Thank you for being such a wonderful partner to Josh. I just want to congratulate you both. I wish you two the happiness, the most happiness in all the world. I know that you will continue to have a blessed life and a new chapter is beginning. Again, toast to the bride and groom. Thank you very much. I love you all. And it is about time, 11 years, my goodness. <laughs> but I think you guys will make it a lot longer than that. And we hope you all the best. We love you both. And, and, and like Josh, we, we've seen him for 11 years now. And we really have treated you like a son. And we hope you, you know, accept us as your parents. And please call us mom and dad because that's how we feel. And, you know, he, he has, uh, I guess, endured a lot, too. He's learned how to eat kimchi and, <laughs> and stuff like that, which is, you know, hard for Caucasians to talk about. <laughs> but he's done well. And I think he's going to make a, a quite good addition to the family. And my daughter, I think you did a good job. And your mom and I love you very much.
Better than 